Hello, my name is Stephen Meyer, and I'm a Dynamics AX Functional Consultant for Merit Solutions. In this video, I'm going to run through the payroll process in AX 2012, beginning from entering earnings and working through to processing payment. This demo assumes that workers have been set up and the HR and payroll modules have been configured. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be working in the Contoso environment. And first, we're going to navigate to the payroll, the payroll area page. From here, we're going to click Earning Statements. This will bring us to the list page for all earning statements. We're going to create a new one. From here, we will select the worker we're going to be paying. In this case, I'm going to be working with a worker by the name of Bill Malone. We select the pay cycle, in this case weekly, and the pay period for the earnings. Now clicking down in the earnings statement lines area, you'll see that the position info is automatically brought in, as well as his tax region. We just need to select an earning code. For our purposes, let's go ahead and select regular and enter a quantity of hours. So on this day, he worked eight hours. His rate is automatically brought in from his employee profile. And you can see to the right that the amount is calculated by the quantity of hours multiplied by his rate. Let's add a few more lines real fast. Okay, on this earning statement, we have him working for a total of 24 hours. And I put in a few different kinds of earning codes in there just so we can see how those work. To the right, once again, the full amount of each earning, earnings line is calculated by the quantity of his hours multiplied by his rate. From here, we can go ahead and release these earnings by clicking Release Earnings Statement. After the earnings are released, we're able to process a pay statement for these earnings. You can go ahead and do this by clicking Process Pay Statement. And then click OK at the dialog box that opens. An info log will appear, and it'll show you that this process was completed successfully. We can go ahead and close this and also close the earnings statement window. We're going to navigate back to the payroll area page. And from here, navigate to all pay statements. Opening this up, we can look at the most recent pay statement that was created. Open it up by double clicking on it. From here, we can see the earnings brought in from the earnings statement. And if we go to the tax calculations, we can show the taxes that we're taking out. So over here we have FICA deducted from his paycheck as well as Medicare. Down below, we have the employer contributions for those taxes. So FICA, Medicare, federal unemployment. In addition, if the worker had made enough money for 
um, medical benefits or dental benefits to, to be withdrawn from his paycheck, those would also show up here. Moving on, the next step is to submit this pay statement for payment. We go up here to the action pane and click submit. At this time, you can also choose to check the box to post the pay statement. What this will do is it'll actually post the transactions to the general ledger. For our purposes here, we did not select that. An info log will appear and it'll show that the payment journal for this pay statement was created successfully. We can go ahead and close that and then close this pay statement. And then navigate back to the payroll area page. From here, if we go down to the periodic area and under pay statement processing, click on payment journal. If we open the most recent payroll journal and click lines, it'll show the payment made out to Bill Malone. We can verify the amount here and we can see that the payment status right now is none. Also see that his method of payment is the payroll check. If we go up to the action pane and click functions, generate payments, we're actually going to cut the check to Bill Malone. Verify that the method of payment is still payroll check and that the bank account is correct. Click OK. Verify the check number and verify the printer as well by clicking document. For the purposes of this demo, I don't want it to print to a printer. So let's go ahead and print it to screen. Click OK. And then click OK to begin the check run. Down to the bottom part of the document, this is the pay statement. It shows the earnings, as well as the benefit and tax deductions, and any employer contributions for any benefits or taxes. Up top, we see the actual check. We see that it's made out to Bill Malone for an amount of $385.65. Also, the um, company name and address is brought into the check. And if there was a logo set up for this check, that would also be brought in as well. From here, we can go ahead and close this. And you can see that the payment status has been updated to sent. Once these checks, if they've been printed, are in envelopes and sent out the door, we can post this pay, payroll journal by clicking post and then finally posting it. An info log will appear showing that the voucher was successfully posted. And once we click close and close the payroll journal, that will complete the payroll process. Now there are additional steps that you could take, for example, adding a bonus to a earning statement, um, verifying that vacation accruals have been added successfully, 
But for a basic payroll run, the steps that I outlined just now are going to be able to take you all the way through. And you can see that you can do this whole process in about five minutes. It's a very efficient process. That being said, I hope that this was helpful and that you have a great day. Thank you.